All right, welcome to Guitar Minis. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys how to play a really simple but really effective and cool sounding harmony um, with one guitar. And uh, this backing track that I played um, up against was, it's kind of like a, an ambient rock um, kind of building progressive kind of sounding track. And so um, the harmony I'm gonna show you today, um, it's not just one part. I mean, it's, it's this part that I kind of played as an example, but it's really a concept that you apply to any style of music and um, it's a really really great way to create harmony with one guitar so um, the uh, progression was um, C, D, D minor we're in the key of G here um, even though we're not really playing the tonic we're not playing the root we're playing in and around the, the key of G and so um, here's the concept here's how you play this this uh, this harmony part. Um, I'm thinking in the key of G and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the root note not only of G but of every note or every chord in the scale of, or in the key of G starting on um, my 8th fret um, on the B string. And so this note right here is a G and it's the tonic, it's the root of the key of G and um, just like any chord you need um, a major or a minor third to um, to kind of give it an identity, and so the G major chord needs the B, which is here on the ninth fret on the D string. So uh, it's a simple two-string harmony based on the root of whatever chord you're playing is on the B string, and then the supporting harmony, the major or minor third, is on the D string. So in this case, a, a D major, um, or sorry, a G major is right here. Those two notes, a G and a B. Now I can play up the entire G major scale um, using these uh, these two notes. So um, I'm going to play a G just like this, and this is the the major position. Um, a lot of a lot of things in guitar um, are based off of patterns, and this is a really sim simple one to get down. The major um, the major harmony when you're building a harmony like this, where you have the root on the B string and the third on the D string, is like this. This um, shape right here is the major shape. The minor shape is just two notes stacked. So I'm going to play an A minor, um, which is right here on the 10th the fret, and the 10th fret on the D. So 10th fret B, 10th fret D string. So you can hear the difference. There's major, minor, another minor, back to major for a C, a D major, E minor, and then the cool thing is, we're not going to play an F sharp half diminished chord, which is kind of what would be um, traditional in the key of G. Uh, we're actually just going to play another minor interval, which the notes are going to be an F sharp over an A, and then back to your your G major right there. So the cool thing is you can work forwards and backwards from this root position, so you can go down this way. There's your seven. 7 over 5 is what it ends up working out to be, but the, the A is the, the minor third there. So you can think of this more as a concept than just a single part, but the way that I was playing it in this part, or in this song, um, backing track, whatever you want to call it, um, I was starting on the E minor, and then playing the note sliding up. And this harmony works over the V chord, or the D, because you have two notes that are built in that D chord, the F sharp and the A. So the E and the G built around the E minor, or the C, um, to a D. And then the E minor chord, the nice harmony that sounds over that is the actual G major, the root, but what identifies it kind of as an E minor or a minor sounding harmony is the fact that you have the B, which is the fifth in the key or over the chord E, and then the G, which is the minor third in E. So it's really, really interesting how you can play major sounding harmonies by themselves over minor chords, and they still fit together really well. And then conversely, you can play minor sounding harmonies over major chords, which is what I'm doing here. Playing an E minor harmony over a C chord, an F sharp with a A in the bass, over the D, and then a G with a B in the bass over the 
minor chord. Then as the progression passes again, I'm actually going to go up and slide from the A minor harmony to the B minor harmony. And what you have here is a B over a D. And in the context of the, um, the C chord, it actually creates kind of like a C add 9 with a major 7 in it, which if you're not too big on music theory, don't worry about it. Um, it sounds really, really neat. Um, the chord that you'd kind of be, be building would be a... That chord right there, a C um, major 7 with the 9 in it. So that works. And then again, I just repeat the... Just like that. So all together... Um, that's the concept, that is the idea that is much bigger than just a single part. Um, I hope that you can take it and start applying it to, um, to many different songs, many different progressions. Think again um, where your root is. Your root is going to be here on the, on the B string. Everything is built from there. Your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back to your one or your root. Okay, that's it for guitar minis today. Take care. Bye.